Hello and welcome to Chemistry Nuggets, where you can polish your knowledge and clear your doubts. So, friends, today's video is about how to draw the draw structure of NO2 minus 1. Let's start the video. But remember to watch the video till end because I am going to give some very important tips to the video. So, NO2 minus 1, when we start, first of all we need valence electrons so it will we can get from nitrogen atomic number 7 1 s2 2 s2 2 p 3 so valence electron will be 5 which will be a valence shell electrons in oxygen atomic number 8 1 s2 2 s2 2 p 4 so, the number of electrons are 6. Now, the other thing is we will get the total valence electrons in the molecule that will be NO2 minus 1. For nitrogen, it will be 5. For oxygen, it will be 6 into 2 because 2 oxygen atoms. And a minus charge means we will add 1. If there will be a plus charge, we will minus from the total. That will be the first step. So, here it will be 12 by 15, 12, 17 plus 18. 18, total minus electrons are 18. These will be shown in the structure. Now, first, second thing is, Nitrogen will be a central atom because it is least in number and oxygen will be surrounding atom because it is more in number. So, let us start. We will draw nitrogen and oxygen like this. Nitrogen in the center, oxygen will be in the surrounding and make one, one bond. This will be the basic starting. Now, how many bond pair electrons we can see? Bond pair electrons. It will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4. Now we will count lone pair. It will be total valence electrons minus bond pair electrons. So total will be 18 minus bond pair is 4. So it will come 14. Now these 14 electrons will be used as a lone pair or if it is not satisfying the octet we will use it as our double bond or triple bond. Now start completing the object using these 14 electrons. First we will fulfill the surrounding atoms of it. Then we will come to the central atom of it. Now for oxygen, two electrons are already there. We will put six electrons. So eight electrons is completed. On the other hand, this oxygen. 2 already there, we will put 6 electrons. So, total we gave 6 plus 6, 12 electrons. Now, how many left in the 14? 6, uh, 12 we get 2 left. So, we will give 2 to the nitrogen. Now, we can see oxygen, both the oxygen is having 8 electrons and nitrogen is having 6 electrons. It, it means nitrogen's octet is not fulfilled. In this case, we will do one thing. As I told you earlier, if lone pairs are not able to satisfy the octet, we will use it as a double or triple bond. So, we will do simply remove one lone pair and we will put it here. Now, count. Oxygen is having again the 8 octet. Now, nitrogen is also having the 8 electrons. So, octet of all the three atoms completed. So, now we have minus 1 charge. Where we can put it? We can put it on the oxygen. Why? The reason is always the negative charge will acquired by the surrounding atom and the positive charge will acquired by the central atom. This is the main tip. The other thing is for oxygen, if oxygen is having double bond, it will have no charge. If oxygen is having 
one bond it will have one minus charge and if oxygen is having three bonds it will acquire the positive charge here this oxygen is having only one bond so we will give minus charge to this oxygen and this will be our structure complete closed dot structure if this is difficult to learn we will have one more trick formal charge we can calculate the formal charge and we can get easily where we can put the minus charge so first i will draw a structure nitrogen then double bond oxygen and here o let's draw the structure so that we can count the formal charge that is we got the structure now let it be atom number 1 let it be atom number 2 and let it be atom number 3 we count formal charge on, on one the formula is valence electrons minus lone pair electrons minus bond pair electrons divided by 2 so for all atom number 1 oxygen the valence electron should be 6 as i told you earlier the lone pair of electrons how many lone pairs are there 4 we can see easily minus bond pair electrons how many bond pair 1 2 3 4 again 4 divided by 2 so it, the answer will be 2 4 6 minus 2 it means be 2 2 minus 2 0 the formal charge on oxygen number 1 will be 0 we can write it zero or we can write nothing now come up to the formal charge on atom number 2 that is the second oxygen valence electrons again six now lone pair how many lone pair electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 we can say six lone pair electrons minus bond pair and only one and two two bond pair electrons divided by two now six six cancel 2 by 2 it means minus one so we can say clearly that the oxygen number 2 is having a charge of formal charge minus 1 and this we already drawn in our structure and now it is proved by the formula now if you have one more doubt you can try with the formal charge of the atom number 3 nitrogen nitrogen having the valence electrons 5 lone pair of electrons 2 minus bond pair electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 by 2 so it will be 5 minus 2 3 and 3 1 minus 3 it will be 0 so we can see clearly by the calculated formulas that nitrogen having zero formal charge the oxygen having double bond is having zero formal charge and oxygen having one double single bond is having minus 1 form charge and this is our final structure which is local dot structure so you guys get the tips and tricks from this video and you can be able to use those in further doing the other structures so keep watching the videos and if you like the video please like and subscribe the channel till then bye keep studying